guess where I'm going. That's right. We are going to Comic Con! <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. Right now we're stuck in traffic. No! Which is always fun. Um, but we're heading down there and it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna go to see Geek and Sundry Lounge and I'm gonna get auditioned for Nerd Reactor. And it's just generally gonna be awesome. And that is my prophecy for this con. Word. Okay, so we packed up all of our stuff into Katie's little car. All right there. There's Katie's head. Let's get it all in here. We're miracle workers, we are. <laughs> that I forgot to pack um, K8's tie for my costume, but there's a Target um, pretty close to here, so we're gonna stop by that and see if we can find me a tie, because I need that. How <coughs> these? No black, just, just silver. Okay, well, that was a fun little detour. Um, but I got my tie, and Kaylee got shoes for her costume, so now we are Back on the road! Let's see our room. Still the size of a closet, but we have two beds this time. Oh my god, we got bunk beds. We got bunk beds. Nice. This is awesome. Yeah. An improvement from last year's. I'll show a picture right here. made it to Comic-Con. Wow, that took longer than I thought it would. But I just realized, Internet, I have not introduced you to my most important traveling companion. <laughs> this is Kaylee. Hi, Kay Internet. <laughs> Kaylee is the writer of her own book series, The Broken Trinity. You can check it out. Um, and she has won several awards for filmmaking. So just letting you all know that because she's just awesome that way. So you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> So as the day goes on, we will continue to film and melt because it is hot! Yeah. It wasn't this hot last year, not that I remember, but this is like really hot. But, you know, Comic-Con, what'd you expect it to be? Comfortable? But <laughs> silly. <laughs> Field here? Yeah. There's sports here? Yeah. What? Okay, so now we are in line 
to find out which mutants are we. So this ought to be very interesting. I hope I'm a good guy because I don't want to be a bad guy. You're very good with brains, for sure. I'm, I'm social, I'm fairly social. I'm, I'm a YouTube personality. Are you a mutant? Yes. I'm at Comic Con, I'm very adventurous. Teamwork. Okay, Teamwork so all the way. We are out of the Me and her machine. Me too. Although maybe I'm a machine. I mean, I am a lot of social media. So. Here you go, buddy. Let's do both. Okay, end of day one. I'm pooped. Tomorrow, I'm becoming her. That'll be fun. <laughs> Just wait and see. Okay, day two of Comic Con for us. Technically, it's day three. For everyone else. Yeah. Just us weirdos that got here late. <laughs> now I'm gonna be putting on my K8 makeup, so be prepared. <laughs> Exhausted, doesn't stop him. You have been warned, Kamakan. Never have. Now I plan to take it over. Ha ha ha. Okay, we're now waiting in line to get into the Constantine tent. Um, it's probably just gonna be showing the trailer like they did with the Dracula trailer last time, but I still wanna get in because hopefully it's air conditioned because guess what? It's hot and I'm a makeup and wig. But I also kind of in am interested in seeing the show, so that ought to be fun. Dracula tent from last year. This one was like it's dome as you can see, it's a big dome. And it kind of had a projection over on the ceiling. It was much more 3D and it was it felt much more like you were flying for the entire thing of that. So I really like that. That was really cool. And um, and I am interested in the show. It kind of reminds me a little bit of supernatural, but seeing as how supernatural is kind of going downhill, I think I'll probably check it out. So you should too check out Constantine. Wow, this just became an ad. Sorry.
time for God. What? Okay, back at the hotel, um, just kind of needed to take a little break. I'm really fried. Um, and I need to resupply my food because I'm like out and my stomach's starting to hurt. Um, so that's a sign that I really need to eat. Not much has happened today. I mean, there was some really cool stuff. I got some footage of it. Bruce is just like awesome, <laughs> like all the time. I did manage to uh, talk to some of the guys over at the um, Assassin's Creed thing, the free running guys from Tempest. So I'm gonna interview them tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Maybe I won't do K8 tomorrow, but I wanna do K8 tomorrow. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna keep doing her today. Uh, I might try on my dress that I just bought. Okay, I totally love this dress. Isn't it great? It's my Han Solo dress. It really is great for my figure and it's Han Solo. Who doesn't love Han Solo? Okay, end of day two for us, but three for the rest of the world and I'm off to bed. Mwah. Night night. Okay, so this is the third and final slash fourth and final day of Comic-Con for us. And it looks like it's raining just a little, so that's always fun. Hi, I'm here at 2014 Comic Con and I'm here with Frosty, one of the free runners for the Assassin's Creed, um, what do you call it? Experience, yes, the Assassin's Creed Experience. So, Frosty, as a free runner, have you ever heard of Assassin's Creed before this? Oh, yeah. You know, our team specifically, Tempus Free Running, we've worked with Ubisoft directly on motion capture, on consultation, um, not just for the games, but also for the, uh, the experiences like this. So we're really excited to have the chance to, to work with Ubisoft to, to create an opportunity for people to really do a real life version of the game they love so much. Right, yeah. What got you into free running in the first place? Well, I started free running almost 14 years ago now, and I was uh, into martial arts. My parents were both teachers, and one of my other martial arts instructors saw it in Ripley's, believe it or not, mm -hmm. said it was just these crazy French kids jumping off of buildings, and uh, so I caught the rerun, and I basically went out and shot my first video that day. It was terrible, but uh, I didn't stop. And so now, over a decade later, I'm still doing it. Now it's a professional sport. I can travel around the world, and I can work with huge companies like Ubisoft to help uh, maintain that authenticity to keep that that amazing spirit that yeah. got me excited about it in the first place. Yeah. And do you ever have any weird thoughts when you're flipping through the air doing these weird things? Do you ever have just random thoughts just pop in your head? I feel like the longer I've been doing it and the, the better I get, the more time I have in the air to sort of like look around and see what's going on and pay attention, to really enjoy that experience and uh, to look at all the people watching the side freaking out, <laughs> which is probably my favorite part. You know, we do a ton of training for um, actors and actresses for movies. We train Katniss uh, for Hunger Games. You know, we train Stephen Amell for Arrow. Really, all these times that they want somebody who's got to show that they can, they can move, that they can do something with their body. Even if it's like um, our team did all of the apes for Planet of the Apes. Mm -hmm. You know, so they trained at our gym, and then they went when they went out to do mocap. They're just using those same skills. So really like three of our dudes are like 85% of the apes in that entire movie <laughs> which is really cool but it's just it's great to see the m more uses that they keep getting out from this natural thing that we do that's just progressed into a whole other level yeah and where do you want it to go in the future like how because it's already so massive where do you see it going do you see like the president being a free runner <laughs> honestly one of my personal dreams has always been to see like it is suited more in uh, schools so that kids and, and everyone learns at least the basics when they're young because that it's really sad that I feel like so many people don't have an understanding of how to use their body, of how to get around. You should at least be able to go up and down something if you need to move around, yeah. you know. And we just don't have that in our daily lives so much anymore, you know. A lot yeah. of what we do is sitting down, which is not like a natural position for us. So the more that people learn how to use this, especially when they start young, it's so much easier as you grow up. But adults can do it too. We have adult classes at the academy and uh, we've seen people grow so much kind of like uh, turn back into kids, which is really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you very much.
Kaylee, are you excited to do the run? I am very excited. <laughs> I'm ready. You're I'm ready. pumped. <laughs> yeah. You can do this. I couldn't do this. No, I, I would die. I would face first, mud splat, die. You, you're going to do it with all the grace and poise that I've seen you done for years. Grace? I don't know, but I will make it through. <laughs> All right, I just took the plunge and I feel great. Energy, energy, energy. <laughs> Okay, so me and Kaylee just finished filming with Sharp Productions. Sharp Productions, yeah. It was very cool, did a lot of fun interviews, so that'll be good. And it was a lot, a lot of fun, and we're now back in con. Um, and we're trying to find the Hollywood Sci-Fi uh, Museum booth, because... You're cool. Thank you very much. That was awesome. I'm here with Houston Heddleston, the founder and CEO of the Hollywood Sci-Fi Museum. Thank you so much for being here and making this. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I've, I've been a fan of yours and your friends for quite some time, and uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm happy to do anything I can for you. Yeah, of course. I mean, tell me a little bit about the museum. What made you want to make this museum, which is awesome, and I love it. I'm so excited. What made you want to do that? Well, there's nothing else like it in the world. There's the EMP Museum, which is kind of an everything museum. It's a pop culture, and they've got incredible props, and they're friends of ours. But there's nothing that's specifically sci-fi. And I wanted, and I didn't want it to be specifically Star Trek, anyway. I didn't want it to be specifically one thing, because that's uh, exclusive. And I want it to be inclusive. I want it to, it to include Star Wars, and Battlestar Galactica, and Doctor Who, and Firefly, and everything else. It's very selfish of me. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it because it's a place I want to go. So all of you guys are involved, invited too. But yeah, this is totally, you know, uh, something that should be there. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So that's why I did it. What are some of the celebs that you're hoping will come once it is open? Well, I can tell you I've talked to quite a few of them. Yeah, I want to invite royalty and presidents and all, all the, the biggest people in the world to come to this because why not? Yeah. You know, what's the worst they could say is no, screw off. <laughs> As many presidents and royalty have told me. In the past. <laughs> and I'm so happy that it's in Hollywood. Yeah. It's like it's not somewhere in like Norway or Sweden or something. It's in Hollywood. It's like half an hour from me. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's, it's got to be Hollywood. It's, it has where's, to be. Where, where do the, all the stars live? Hollywood. Most of them do, or yeah. Canada. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad it's not in Canada. I'm really glad it's not going to yeah, open in right. Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I've yeah. never been to Canada, though. I hear it's lovely. But I'm glad it's not going to be in Vegas. I've been yeah. offered money to take it to Vegas. Yes. And the reason that I'm not, I live in Vegas. I grew up in Vegas. Yeah. I know Vegas. I'm, it's not a kick in the butt to Vegas. It's just, let's face it, gambling and hookers is what Vegas yeah. is about. And that's not what this is about. This, right. is a, this is a family thing. Right. And also, you bring it to Hollywood. Would, you get all the studio support, all the right. star support, and my gosh, you know, you could you could literally invite Tom Cruise and he could just go across the hill to come he visit could. you. could. That would be awesome. You know? Do it. Invite yeah. him. Yeah. I, I will. Hold on. Let me get my... <laughs> Heroines, power, responsibility, and representation. You know, female power. And then we're going to be going to the 
Winter Twins uh, panel about how to create your own novel. So that'll be really good. Thank you so much for coming today. Sailor Moon for me was my gateway drug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right? yeah. And um, a local comic book store got in touch with us. We thought we'd come down and sign some of their stuff. And I got there. And um, the, the owner wasn't on site. And I walked in. And this guy, you know, who didn't know where I was, um, opened up with, what do you want? <laughs> and I said, um, you know, the commander is like, are you his girlfriend? Oh. Well, I picked up a copy, took it to the counter, paid for it, and then I signed it. I signed it to the store, and I said, from Marjorie Bennett, please treat your female clients with more respect. <laughs> and I left it on the counter and never gone back. Yeah. Uh, our dad introduced us to science fiction and, and superheroes, and we fell in love with the idea that someone who was flawed and had problems could wake up one day and do something. Well, I, I gotta tell you, I mean, my whole life I was always writing, and I think we all have something to say. We all have things we need to express, and first, first and foremost, writing is for you. How did I get here? I, I just drove down in traffic like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just saw the Winter Twins panel um, on how to create your own novel. It was really good. Uh, a lot of really good tips. Met some cool people. Um, but now the exhibit hall is closed. Nothing else is going on. The convention is over. It's over. <laughs> no, it can't be over. <laughs> but it really can. This is it. We're leaving now. It's closed. It's all gone. Bye bye. Till next year. <laughs> till next year. So from now on, till next time. Don't you forget to keep smiling.